Hi, my name is Chris Brown, and uh, over the next few minutes, I'm going to share with you a little bit about HARP 2.0, how to uncover your own personal uh, eligibility as well as the eligibility of the property itself, and uh, kind of after reaching a, a critical mass of uh, realtors and financial advisors and other financial planners, I'm sorry, uh, financial uh, professionals like CPAs, asking me for something that that they could tangibly get to their clients and those that they care about. Uh, if, if I could put something together, finally broke down and, and uh, here it is. So over the next few minutes, I'm just going to share with you very quickly um, what, uh, what the eligibility requirements are, what tangible benefit that could mean, and then what your next best steps would be. The main thing is, hey, can I get it? Can I take advantage of HARP? And uh, one of my personal pet peeves is, is folks that just read the slides, so I'm going to try not to do that today over the next couple minutes. But uh, these are the three main criteria and people are determining whether they indeed are eligible for HARP. And uh, probably the one that seems to trip people up the most is that last one, uh, when it's securitized, or it has to have been securitized uh, by the end of May of 2009. Now, you wouldn't necessarily know that right off the bat. In fact, some folks say, well, Wells Fargo has my loan. It's not backed by Fannie or Freddie. The backing is something that happens after you close on your loan. So unless you've proactively sought out that information, you wouldn't necessarily know it uh, just by looking at who you're writing your checks to, for example. Now, studies have shown that 7 out of 10 of the people that are indeed eligible for HARP do not know that they are eligible or otherwise, or for other reasons, have not taken advantage of HARP. Uh, so that's why we're trying to proactively get this word out to, um, uh, to folks. Now, if this has been forwarded to you by uh, a financial professional or your agent, uh, reach out and give them a big hug because they obviously thought enough of you uh, to want to make sure that this got into your hands because there's no direct benefit to them in bringing this to you other than the fact that they are just adding value to your and their relationship. One of the examples of someone that has indeed taken advantage of the HARP program is uh, Rob and Sam. Uh, I'm going to share an example of what they did and then how they actually kind of leveraged that forward and have created significant uh, impact for their family's future. Now you can see uh, they invested a um, investment property here. Uh, refinance an investment property, and you can see their loan terms from before and their new loan terms. You'll see that they saved about $200 a month, which was pretty good for an investment property, helped it to cash flow. But they took it to the next level, and I give Rob and Sam credit for it because they actually bought a duplex where their new principal interest taxes and insurance payment was just over $600 with existing rents of $1,400. So when you add up their savings of $200 uh, and then their new cash flow on the duplex minus their monthly obligation to service that debt, they had improved cash flow of about $1,000 a month. Would that kind of improved cash flow help you and your family? Now, under the umbrella of HARP, there are uh, basically the sky's the limit. Just about everything, as long as it's backed by Fannie or Freddie and, ma and matches those other eligibility requirements, can work. Now, some folks have called us and said, well, I called my bank and they said that HARP wasn't for investment properties or uh, HARP only went up to 150% loan to value or, you know, different things. Condos couldn't be those kinds of, of speed bumps. Well, under the umbrella of HARP, some lenders have chosen to participate in segments of what indeed is available. And that's one of the benefits of working with a correspondent lender, for example, of which we are one of many, that allows us to go play in a lot of different sandboxes so that if one lender has a occupancy restriction, then we have the option to go to a different lender that doesn't have that restriction. So pretty much under the umbrella of HARP, there's very little that we in our office can't do but there are other lenders that could boast that as well. If you have run into uh, maybe with your current servicer, they're either not doing HARP uh, or they have their own restrictions, don't necessarily take that at face value that you can't 
take advantage of it yourself. Now, HARP was recently extended, and in the beginning I thought that was great news, when in actuality I have found that it has been more detrimental than beneficial, and here's why. The fact that it goes through the end of 2015 has created a false sense of security for folks, because at the end of the day, as long if the, the program could be available indefinitely, but as rates, if and when they, they uh, trend upward, all of a sudden the benefit of refinancing and saving that uh, monthly cash flow goes away and could uh, could render it uh, pointless. So go ahead and explore it sooner rather than later to see if it is the right fit. Now your next best step is, as you would imagine, hey, let's check the eligibility. And that's why we created the Florida HARP Guide site, so that people could simply go to one location, uncover whether they indeed were eligible, and begin to get the help that they need. Now, you'll notice right below the, uh, uh, the Fox interview here, there are um, uh, two buttons that allow you to go and check whether your loan is indeed backed by Fannie or Freddie. And then there's like a, a, a quick qualifier form there. It's about 15 questions that uh, helps you uncover whether your property is eligible or not. Then once you hit submit from that quick qualifier form, it'll automatically take you to the HARP pre-application. Now, a lot of people find comfort in knowing that that form only comes to me and my team. It doesn't go out to a hundred different people, so your phone's not going to be ringing off the hook from all these people that you haven't asked to uh, to help. So uh, a lot of people do find comfort in that. So we certainly hope you have found value in this. We tried to give you uh, just a quick overview on what it is, what your next steps would be to take advantage of it. Since seven out of ten of the people that could take advantage of HARP have not at this point. Uh, we, we, we take it as a fiduciary responsibility to try to get that out. And again, if this has been forwarded to you by someone that you trust, reach out and thank them because they obviously thought enough of you to get this in your hands even though there's no direct benefit. If you do have additional questions, comments, or concerns, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, below, I'm making my, my personal email and my direct office line available uh, to, uh, to you, and we invite you to reach out. So thanks for watching, and uh, we wish you the very best.